Lamar Davis. What's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still in team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. Get that shit cracking, nigga. He waiting at the garage. The boost, homie. How'd it go? Any problem? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now. Like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride. I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one said, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Line it up on the carrier, homie. There she is, homie. We straight. The boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. And this old bust-ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass right. in the truck. Let's go. Let's get the truck. Paletto Bay, Sonora Freeway. Scooch up, homie. Yeah. Scooch over here. Scooching in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no. That nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. That ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man me. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? In this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. You're meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dude's at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah. It's a bummer. But, you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am 
some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place I was in front of But that ain't who I am for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do. I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. You know, part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tied with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in Harlem. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real shame. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, but I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you! That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Vent. The turd! was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah, probably. How you doing? Where? When? All right. All right! Fuck! I was running this small air freight outfit in North Yankton. A tiny operation. There's one beagle I could borrow when I needed it. We were kids. Kids with planes. So, this guy I know says there's this other guy needs some hot cargo moved across the border. Money's good, and I don't know enough to check references, so I'm in. A few days later, I'm waiting on the runway, and I see this dust coming up off the road. Only, it ain't one dust trail, it's two. I got told one guy in cargo. First car comes through the gate, stops, someone comes out. My age, just 20, kind of fat but strong underneath. Love at first sight. Yeah, something like that. Other car comes through the gate. Old guy falls out, starts yelling, waving his arms, and pointing at the kid. The dude that got Jack? Who fucking knows? Fat guys running, old guys shouting. I don't really care. I play peacemaker, concerned citizen. I get close to the old guy and I pull out this flare gun I'm carrying around, squeeze the thing off in his eye. Shit. That was horrible. 
We had to pick up the body and dump it in a lake on the way. Thing was still burning in his head when we dropped him. Plane never smelt the same. Both of us threw up when we landed. It was quite a baptism. You ain't never clapped nobody before? Not really. Some deer, foxes, drifters. Nothing serious. Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? All right, shit. I'll handle this. If you keep driving, I'll use the JB-700 to get rid of them. Man, Molly said there'd be some hardware on board. Shit, we'll see. Hey, don't forget the headset, homie. We have reason to believe you were transport stolen vehicles. Pull over to the side of the road. You brought the cops right to us, dog. Maybe you should have done the boost, Mr. CEO. Now get on the shit. Play and protect the motherfucking vehicles. This is your problem, CEO. It's Franklin. Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm. We got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost them. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. We're taking a rise to the truck stop at Procopio. Roger that. I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick but he's also rigorous in his research yeah he may be brilliant look let me be the first to tell you he ain't gonna fall in love with your ass now where the fuck is my money 
the best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Betrayed by my country. Well, look what we did to the Indians. Whoa! What the fuck, dude? I told him. Come on, move. Hi, welcome. All yours. Enjoy. Okay, we're all done, I think.
Over here, if you need me. Okay. That's dumb luck right here.
This don't make no fucking sense. Hey, I need a cab. No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. I'll be here. Man, where you going? Strawberry. All right, let's hit the road. Okay, buddy, there you go. We are free, we're bringing an end to the patriarchy. We are women, you are free. We are women, you are shout. We are women, we have no doubt. We are women, we are free. We are Shut the, the fuck up! Thank you. Oh, my N word, huh? <laughs> What's up, homie? Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. What a, is that how you act, huh? When a, when a friend makes a mistake, huh? No. Really? Man. Oh, no. what? oh, so what, it's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you? Oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up, motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I apologize. I accept your apology. Okay? All right, so let's hug it out. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! Right? You're so fucking you're funny, gotcha. Huh? Oh. Fuck, no, I'm not funny. I'm fucking asshole. Oh, fuck. I, I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you all right? I'm just, I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have... I would have... Fucking... Look, man, Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Fuck Michael, I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before, but what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. 
They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped him. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro, don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! Mm, asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> Hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Mike was being held by a Chinese crew. Because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. But Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. I told you! He ain't my g -la. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot! You're making a mistake! It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to call in every favor uh. I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good uh. men. Good day, huh? Good day, good fucking day to you! Kill him! Hey, Trevor hey. Phillips isn't uh. coming. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, hey, hey, hey! Where's your humanity? You want me to waste the boy for him? There's four guys coming from down there. Throw me a gun. Shit! I need a weapon, Frank! There you go! Get the guys you were talking about! They got you!
你想见血吗? That's the last fucking time I get mistaken with Trevor's friend. We the ones who should be pissed with you! Oh my god! Let's go! This is my rescue mission, dog. We're going. I just want to get home. I'm going to get you here. Of his shit. Yeah. Woo. Back there on that meat hook. You missing, dog? We're going. I just want to get home. I'm going to get you there. Cars, come on. Man, I thought this was my rescue mission. I'm driving, man. You ain't in no shape. Can't thank you enough. It's nothing. It's what friends do. Yeah, not all friends. From what I heard, yeah, maybe not. Yeah, you heard right. Fucking Trevor. 
guy freaks the fuck out on Shit, yo. We're up there in North Yankton, right? And he goes off on one. He's about to kill me, Franklin, when these Chinese guys show up out of nowhere. Then he runs, and the next thing I know, I'm back in Los Santos on a fucking meat hook. Where you off the hook now? Yeah, thanks to you. Say, how'd you find me anyway? Did my family look for me? Nah, bro. I think... I think they still away. Me and Lester thought something was up. Then I spoke to Trevor, and he said the Chinese had you. Trevor? Shit, not willing to... You missing, dog? We're going. I just want to get home. I'm going to get you here. Is that it? We clear? Yeah, man, we clear. Fuck me, man. What a scene that was. That's about the size of his shit. Yeah. Woo. Back there on that meat hook, I thought it was over. When the dude had the knife on me, man, I thought the same thing. Frank, thank you, bro. You didn't have to. Yeah, bro, of course I did. If this shit means anything, shit, the second I knew. Hey, how'd you even find me? Lester sent me this app that tracked your sales signal. Ah, Lester. How'd you even know I got snatched up? Trevor told me. Kinda. I asked him what he knew about you disappearing in North Yankee. Yeah, I bet he wasn't that forthcoming, was he? Well, he told me in the end. How'd they pinch you anyway? Oh, shit. We're up there, and Trevor freaks the fuck out. He was about to kill me, Franklin. And then these Chinese guys show up, they take me, he fucks up. For real? Too real. Okay. Well, if you don't want to talk about that, how about Devin West? West? What about him? We delivered him. No. With the last of them cars, only he ain't paid us yet. He says he gonna invest the fucking money. Well, he's a clever guy. You know, that might not be such a bad idea. Are you fucking serious? Look, Franklin, 
You're gonna get your money, okay? From the sounds of it, you'll even get some interest, too. And I got this other deal with Weston down at the film studio. So we gotta wait for that to play out before I got any leverage over your deal. For real? Oh, frankly, I had my feet chained to a meat hook for the last few hours. Give me some time, I'll figure it out, I promise. Yeah, whatever. I'll see ya. Show. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right. Well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the fade. Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out. A future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <sighs> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you.
almost the car, amigo. This is too much. Shit! What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. What else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. I can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, Evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, 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 that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the FIB building, parking lot entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. The 
janitor. All right. And how's that gonna get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. Look at the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. We'll follow him and see what we think. Sounds good. Here we are. Let's wait for him. That's it? Nope. So what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Ooh, what's this? Uh, not our guy. So what do we do? Uh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Here we go. This is not the car we're looking for. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. I mean, we need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Something's coming. That's not it. That's the one. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Hmm, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work-related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. For my own peace of mind, can we get a little closer to him? Uh, let me work on some angles while you uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Come on, what do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation, and maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate.
He's pulling up. Park down the block. Go in and have a word. Harvey Molina. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Get out. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. The only one she needs something. You got another one of those, Harvey? Well, who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. I'll fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Successful? Oh, yeah. Take me back to the factory. I'm gonna sleep with a celebrity if it's the last thing I do. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. based, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much? Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Ah, he's already here. Hey, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or Dylan Dimebag. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. But they're not online anywhere. I'm gonna need paper copies. You know, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good.
sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better-built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. I think Mom's at Bean Machine. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, st stuff? No, I don't know. Well, What's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... It's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... There they are, outside. Come on, let's say hi. Let's walk up and be civil. No caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more... <sighs> Excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two, a picture of holistic well being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. Wh wh what are you doing? Uh, uh, ah! I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Was he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda, I wanted, I'm meaning to say, dude, look, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone Shut up! Uh, I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. Perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No. No yoga. Uh, I, I... All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. But what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? 
Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of... Okay, if you know what I mean. Uh, I think they're in here. Looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? <laughs> yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa, whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Come on. Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here? You fucking psycho. Ah, oh, you fucking prick! Jesus! I'm. Ah! Uh, uh. Oh, oh, that looks purdy. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh, my God. Papa Bear. What's Daddy number two going to think about this? Let's not get him involved. Let's do... I mean, that, that's, a, that's a clean needle, right? I don't need more hep C. Come on. Please don't put a gang symbol on me. How about I throw all those three little pubic hairs on here, too? Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror I can Oh, yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash uh, you over the head with it. Too uh, much. Uh, 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 snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one stop shop. What are you doing? Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get. Is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're going to put her on your show, and you're going to make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We got to get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Never a family that needs therapy. <laughs> My ponytail. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. <laughs> Literally. Like Fabian? Around the head with the laptop? Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bad him. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? So up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good, not an objective universal good, 
but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah! Awesome! Let's rob somebody! <laughs> do it, Dad! Yeah! Do, do it! it! Do, do it. it! Enough! Okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off! Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you could just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. This is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. <sighs> oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Take care now. Hey, so are you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right, then. Kids! Are you gonna take us home, then? You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Cathartic. All right, I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. The real peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or... hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster Trevor. Kids? Rooms. 
If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Standing. Again. 